Emus are amazing things. They are, they are travellers. They, they, they walk the landscape. They, you see them walking purposefully across the landscape. Uh, extraordinary. extraordinary. And uh, they're a connection with the places owned by kangaroos and emus, which is the landscape of Australia. They're the dominant animals we see. Oh, I'd have to be, you know, way down there. Low D, I think. <laughs> they don't have much to say though, but they've got good, strong legs <laughs> and they take off. Uh, so it, it could be more of a dance? Maybe. Um, and I've seen dancers um, in Central Australia, of Aboriginal people doing, doing the emu dance. Yeah, 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 they do it. They do, do a good one. They kind of look around. And if it came across you as a human, what would it, what would its message be, do you think? Uh, with all its wisdom, of all its wisdom. the breadth of Australia and its incredible age as a mm. species. I what? guess it's probably the same, same message that um, many of our animals have. It's a sort of mixture of <clears throat> make sure you leave something for me and um, <clears throat> this is actually my place. Don't forget it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think that's pretty, pretty close to the message. But I'm always just captivated by them when I come across them. I mean, it's, it's like all animal interactions, you just captivated by the moment. I was watching the kangaroos the other day up at Mount Capital, just sitting, and their response to um, the lack of moisture was to, they slept in later in the morning. They just, they just minimise their activity, because if, if you start moving around too much, you're going to have to drink water and things. And so they had a pretty, pretty lazy day up there. I thought, oh, is that interesting? Many of our animals are adapted to just minimising the amount of activity required when things get done.